We started the Princeton Laptop Orchestra about three years ago um, as a way to explore new ways of making music together with technology. There are a few things that are particularly unique, I think, to, to the way we do this with Plurk. And one of them is simply that um, we've built speakers, omnidirectional speakers, that attempt to mimic the way acoustic musical instruments radiate sound in rooms. The fundamental tenet of Plork is that each player controls their little acre of sound that's sitting next to them. And in that way, it's very instrumental, like the traditional orchestra. There's no notion that somebody's doing a gesture here and the sound is coming out 100 feet away. That's good for them, because they're responsible for monitoring that. And there is at least this idea of a, of a local instrument. There's a pillow with a person and a laptop and a speaker. It, it really is, though, the, the laptop as a musical instrument is there in the room with you and it gets the, the acoustic qualities of the space that you're in and blends nicely with all the other instruments that are in the room, whether they be other laptop instruments or old-fashioned acoustic instruments. And that's something we, we do a fair amount of as well, including tonight we've got uh, a concert featuring a, a well-known classical violinist. The Plork seminar itself was a freshman seminar three years ago, and so it actually started with a core of people who didn't know what we were doing, and neither did we. And many of them are back now, and they've been in the ensemble for three years now. And so there is a tradition of Plorkestra performance now that's kind of formed. The students uh, come from all different departments on campus. Some are in computer science, some are in music but many are in completely unrelated departments. The only thing we require of our students who take these classes is that they have some kind of musical background. Some of them have jazz or popular music background. Um, some of them read music, some of them don't read music so well. So there's a diversity of musical backgrounds, but they all have some kind of musical background. Some of them have a lot of technical experience, but a lot of them don't. And in fact, these classes are a way for them to get programming skills, to get technical experiences. The piece tonight has the whole ensemble using Wiimotes. So, you know, they're made to play tennis and and baseball and stuff like that, but you could just as well apply, use that data, that control data from the Wiimotes to control sound. Some of the other pieces actually use built-in sensors on the laptops themselves. So this, the laptops have a sensor built in uh, to protect the hard drive, but it actually senses the tilt of the laptop and you can use that and have that control sound directly as well. And so a couple of the pieces tonight will be using that technology. Every year we're investigating new technology. We just won a MacArthur grant. That's for new equipment. We have lots of sensors, pressure sensors, tilt sensors, and then I have a budget, I have a different grant that I've just gotten to buy biological sensors to look at actually heart rate and breathing and muscle signals and brain signals. A lot of Clark has been, uh, in a way, a laboratory. Most of our students don't know that things are impossible, and therefore they're not.